Since California's sanctuary state law went into effect, and it was at the beginning of this year, by the way, the San Diego Sheriff's Department has released more than half of all the illegals wanted by ICE. Joining us now is San Diego County Board of Supervisors, Kristen Gaspar. Kristen, I understand that it was 349 illegals released without telling ICE and without allowing ICE to get them. That's accurate? The situation is even worse. As of Tuesday, the number is now close to 400. We're talking about one to three illegal immigrants each and every day. These are criminals being released back out into our community, absent our local law enforcement, being able to let ICE know where they're even going. What can you do about this? Well, sanctuary state needs to end. I mean, just when you think it can't get any crazier in the state of California, it just keeps getting worse. Now, we've become the absolute nanny state. We're moving away from the Golden State thanks to our own governor, local legislators. Think about this. Not only are we dealing with the backdrop of SB 54, creating a sanctuary for criminals in our community, now we're dealing with new legislation coming out of Sacramento. We're looking at SB 274. This is going to open up Medi-Cal, federally funded program for health care to all illegal immigrants in the state of California. That's 1.8 illegal immigrants who will now be eligible for government funded health care. How are we paying for this? We can't even take care of our own citizens. 115,000 unsheltered Californians living on our streets. Now we're, we're taxing our gas. We have a new bill coming out taxing our water. And by the way, don't think about drinking that water through a straw because those are about to be illegal <laughs> too. Kristen, I, just for a second, uh, I, I want to go back to the, uh, the illegals released by the Sheriff's Department in San Diego. It's nearly 400 as we speak. So far this year, it's nearly 400. Supposing you went to the Sheriff and said, hey, you have to tell ICE who these people are and when they're being released. Would you be breaking the law? We would be breaking the law, and that's exactly why San Diego County wants to take the case to court. We've joined on to the administration's lawsuit against the state of California. Look, our sheriff is doing everything that he can locally, but we have a conflict here. We have a governor who thinks he can override federal immigration law by implementing local state policy, and that's exactly what we're faced with now. So that lawsuit will come to fruition, and the state of California will not be able to pursue these policies. But in the meantime, we do have a sheriff who's being respectful of that state okay. law. It needs to end either in the courtroom. It also needs to end with a change in leadership, starting with the governor of California. Now, this latest move to give Medi-Cal free medical care to, to uh, poorer people to be extended to illegals, you can't pay for it, at least I don't know how you, how you pay for it. In my opinion, that is a play for the Hispanic vote. Locks the Hispanic vote into the Democrat Party. I can say that. Can you? I can say that. It's really unfortunate because if you look at the situation at hand, we're no longer able to take care of our own citizens in this country, in the state of California. We're really in a sad place when we do not have the ability to pay for basic human necessities anymore. It's completely unreasonable that we're trying to find our way out of this situation by taxing us on basic needs. Drinking water, I mean, we are in a situation in California and we can't find our way out if we keep extending these benefits to others who are being disrespectful of our laws, not coming into this country through legal methods. We welcome immigrants who want to respect our laws and come to our country. We can plan for these individuals that come here. What we cannot tolerate are people crashing our borders in huge caravans, criminals being released back out on our streets, wreaking havoc on the citizens of California. Who are we protecting in this state anymore. Well said. Kristen Gaspar, we'll, uh, we'll bring you back, please. Love to talk to you again. Thank you very much Thank for joining you. us today. Thank you very much.